Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Died Twice. We're back in the Ashina Reservoir, where it all started. I'm gonna pull myself out of here because I actually want to get onto the bridge again, and I'm not actually sure that I can actually do that from here. Might have made a bit of a mistake if I wanted to kill that giant fellow over there, but you know what? Let's just re-explore the reservoir a bit more. So the the outskirts. So we can see if there's anything new roaming in this area. So there seems to be a big dude over here as well. But knowing that there's somebody to ring a bell over there. I'm just gonna go here first and murder the bell ringing woman or man. I don't know. Is it, is it a woman or a man? That wasn't very elegant but uh, I'll take it. Then just murder this guy. Murder this guy. Oh, Jesus Christ, he sees me. Oh, I can't get out of here. Oh god, I'm just gonna heal. There we go. And then those guys are actually coming closer as well. So, big burly fellows. Just with a mama's dress on. There we go. I'm actually kill this one in one fell swoop. And then this one doesn't seem to be paying attention. There we go. Oh, look at that baby's face. That looks horrifying up close. And there we have this item that apparently is new, because I would have picked that up, pretty sure. So apparently all that fighting didn't trigger this uh, peculiar fellow's uh, attention. So let's just murder his ass. And there seems to be something new up top there. I'm just gonna take a pallet, because it's not enough for a healing gourd. But... Let's go down this route again, like we did at the start of the game. Uh, to both see if there's anything new and maybe get a backstab in on whoever is at the building right now. So back at the hole, there's clearly a memory in here, but I don't see anybody else. So let's just go in, go into stealth immediately and then see... Wait. Oh no, 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 there's still somebody at the door, but it seems like... They move down. It is a general. And for some reason he moved down. So let's just do this. The Shevan Ashina Spears. Oh god. He's a badass. Got the cord back. There we go. But we have a bit more space here, so... Oh, did he kill me? He killed me in one head. Well, almost one head. Ooh. He's feisty. Ah. Still don't get the finer points of that Mikiri counter. Ooh, da da! Let's get my posture back. Oh! That Mikiri counter is still not working on my end. That's a sweep. And that killed me in one go. Okay. Okay. This guy is hard. So back here. I think if I stay to this side of the staircase, the other enemies shouldn't be bothering us. 
That gives me a few uh, moments to actually practice this fight. Jesus Christ. Oh, go. Can he actually reach me from here? And he stabbed me again. I, I'm dodging that, but I don't know how that Mickey Gant is supposed to work, because this is ridiculous. Oh god. Just gonna go up here. And let him drop down again. I'm wondering if I can actually hit him while he's falling. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, okay, never mind. Game is broken. Through the freaking wall. Yeah. I'm dodging all of those, and somehow he keeps tracking me. Oh. This is the gatehouse. So the house we've been sneaking under is the gatehouse. That is interesting. So that means that that prosthetic tool is in here. Heavy coin purse, that's always nice. So that's 500 coins. Now let's open up this chest. So that should contain... Gyobu's broken horn. Famed horn spear once used by Gyobu Masataka Oniwa. A fixed to the shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool. The horn contracts to pull enemies in. Also capable of stripping crude armor. When the horn was broken during the rebellion, Ishin praised it for its splendid shape, awarding Oniwa with the cross-bladed spear of Shuzen Tamura. Does that mean that we can use that against the guy that we've been fighting right now? Or, I mean, it doesn't feel like he has unstoppable armor. There's another item here, by the way. But he is hard. He is hard. Maybe I should just get better. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on. I was underneath his ass. And I blocked that, but for some reason, sometimes it just doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Mickey recounted. Uh, what? I Mickey recounted that perfectly. And he just kicked me off, the jackass. Okay, then I don't know what to do. And I backed off again. I can't back off. And he just turns around the midair. I, I, he, he, he just destroys my vitality in one hit. I mean, so, final attempt before I do something else, because uh, this is useless. So, the Mickey counter appeared useless as well. Maybe in the later stages, but for now, it just seems to be one giant douche. For fuck's sake. Just block. Oh, don't dodge backwards, don't. Yeah. Oh, go down. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Jump down. 
Come on, buddy, jump down. Just blocking again. Oh, come on! I dodged that perfectly! Kill me again! I didn't block that. I blocked it right after the attack, but it didn't come true. Okay, I got Unseen 8 three times in a row now. I'm not going to risk uh, losing all of that, so... Let's just head towards the big troll, dude. But before we do that, might as well just go all the way down in the reservoir and see what items have come extra here. And there we go, this guy is down. I don't know what that was. Yeah, there's another one over there, some reason. Oh, Jesus Christ. Those were pretty easy to fight the first time around, so that's fine. And I think, yeah, there's one right beneath us, but let's just first get these items. Scrap iron and heavy uh, coin purse, that is great. And then let's just drop down on this guy. And there we go. Overpower the little man. Meebo Balloon of Spirits. Balloon filled with fountainhead. Water imbued with a blessing of sympathy. If one pops this black and white balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon, will have a higher chance of obtaining spirit emblems for a period of time. This balloon expresses mourning for the dearly departed. Red and white pinwheels are offered in fond remembrance. Okay. That's a nice sentiment. But... Anything else around here? Doesn't seem like there is. So I'm gonna do the smart thing and talk to the sculptor first. You need something? So he's gonna be able to... Yeah, let's fit a new prosthetic. The loaded spear. Ooh. Unleash far-reaching trust attacks. Lighter enemies struck by the spear may be dragged towards the wielder. Those of large build will at times force themselves into poorly fitting armor. Such armor could be torn clean off, coined by Gyobu as armor stripping. So trust and then, or use it twice to drag. Can also tear poorly fitting armor from heavy foes. Let's do that. And then I'm gonna swap the loaded axe with the loaded spear. So let's, uh, wait, first upgrade. So we have an upgrade for the loaded spear trust, as a uh, loaded spear as well. And then the firecrackers. Which we can do, but those two we can't. What do the firecrackers do extra? Charging up the spring mechanism adds rotational energy when spreading the firecrackers, affecting enemies in all directions. That sounds good, actually. So let's do that. And then next up, we have the spring load flame vents. So you can charge up the flame vent as well. So sounds good, sounds good. Then what we need to do is equip that instead of the loaded axe. So loaded spear instead of loaded axe. We have a second, ooh, we can actually equip maybe a second combat art. That would be nice. So back at the bridge, let's murder these fools. And there we go. What a nice deflection in between. But now, let's head up. And we can see 
There we go, next to the wolves. And now we can use our loaded axe. Oh, loaded spear, so that's actually getting closer. There we go, we pulled the armor off. That is cool. Now we can just smack him. We can put the flag there. And he's going mad. Can't really uh, interrupt him with that. And there we go. Took off his armor and everything. Scrap magnetite again, so that's we're starting to get a that a lot more. And black gunpowder over here. So more upgrade materials where that came from. We can make quick work of him with that. So the loaded spear is needed to strip armor of foes. That is fair enough. Fair enough. Heavy coin purse again. So I think we have plenty of coin now to actually use. Uh, to get the shuriken upgrade there, to also throw daggers like the the lady butterfly. But what is this? Is that another one of those memorial mob guys? Let's commune with the sculptor's idol. We didn't lose any health aside from that minor hit from the wolf. So let's see. Memorial mob. Memorial mob. Hello. Care to purchase an offering? Another one. Where you find the departed. You'll find the memorial mob. We, the impure, cannot turn a blind eye to anyone. Ooh, the impure. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Still, it doesn't look like a very comfortable position to be in there. So let's purchase some items. He has... Another dragon's blood droplet. Contact medicine. A weak poison status is inflicted upon consumption. By inflicting a weak poison on oneself, all other forms of poison become ineffective. Some shinobi also use this medicine for a specific technique. Poison is said to expand the mind. Interesting. Then I'm gonna buy those three point purses just because. And now we have a mask fragment dragon. So that's the other piece of that mask. Ooh, and we can even buy a prayer bead if we want to. Uh, we have quite a bit of coin, but I do want to buy the daggers as well. Let's sell the... Ash, the fistful of ash. So we have 18 of those. So that's 180 coins. Where you find wherever you. Then, if we go into our inventory, it's 1,400. So a bit of a waste, but we have 195. Seriously, I need to kill one tiny thing, and um, I'll have it. But so three of those. And now it gets us to 1,495. Which gets us the prayer bead. There we go. There we go. Might as well buy that contact medicine. I feel like we're going to need that rather soon. And that gets us rid Maybe of all our coin. Okay, okay. But with that done, what is this? This goes down as well. Where does this lead to? Something is moving. And this doesn't look good. Okay, is he gonna attack me? Probably should attack him first. Oh wow, whoa, 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 whoa. Get off me, you maniac. Okay. Cre creepy, creepy dudes that don't drop a single thing. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 buddy. Pacifying agent, powdered medicine for calming nerves, used by those who deal in unspeakable deeds. Reduces terror buildup and increases terror resistance for a time. Gravekeepers, executioners, the memorial mob, all who keep death close keep this powder closer. Adhering to a simple rule, if seized with fear, cover your ear. Fair enough. So this guy is... Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, okay. Getting, getting cuddled by this man again. Look at this romantic sight. Almost dead. Just gonna, just gonna leave him be. Is that an old item? Yeah, it is, but eh, it isn't. It wasn't. Let's just heal up. 
Don't want to get eaten again. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, so we're just back in the dungeon. Um... Oh, he doesn't even care about my hits as well. There we go, but he doesn't seem to die, does he? Do I need to kill him again? Ooh, and there's maggots. Uh, stab. There we go. Maybe twice. Oh, yeah, twice does the trick. And we got those pacifying agents as well. Are you gonna, gonna attack me as well? Seems like not all of them are hostile, and there's somebody over there as well. This one seems to be... No, this one doesn't. Oh! I just saw... No. Um, stab. So there's these bugs as well, but... I don't think one... Ow! Comes into contact with the other. There we go. Once. Murder his ass. There we go. Goodbye, my fellow. Don't know why you resurrect twice, but... You need to teach me that... Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I know why he resurrects twice. I mean, I'm doing the exact same thing. Although, wh why would Kuro give his power to this guy? So there's more where that came from. But this woman seems to be... Or man. Might be a man. What? Definitely a man. What are you doing here? Of all places. Good question. Good question uh, indeed. Are you perhaps a shinobi? I, I am, yes. That's right. I thought as much. Might you be willing to take on a favor for me? I am Dojun. I've been tasked with the preparation of a medical treatment using the rejuvenating waters. I'll get to the point, my dear shinobi. This is a letter I received from the master. The particulars are contained within. Okay, surgeon's bloody letter. A worn and bloodstoned letter from Dosaku. Dosaku. The surgeon in the abandoned dungeon. Required one tough man, preferably a strong samurai or a young, large soldier such as a member of the Taro troop. Must be delivered unharmed. Dosaku. Okay. My dear Shinobi, the details are in the document I gave you. Considering the nature of the information, I think you'd agree that the less we know about each other, the better. What am I doing here? I'm, I'm in a dungeon full of corpses with a crazy doctor asking me to bring him a live man. That is... This place is fucked up. There we go. Oh! Oh! There we go. Bugs! Kill the bugs! There we go. Didn't get a... Because I think I should be able to actually do backstabs during combat as well. But Jesus Christ, there's bugs all over the place. Cat out. There we go. With the posture attack, we got him down. And a red lump. A round red lump. Why are we picking this up? Consume to gain red eyes and reduce flinching from enemy attacks, but also prohibits the use of resurrection. A red mass is the lingering trace of one who was unable to achieve their desires. Slightly warm to the touch, it pulsates softly. Why are we picking this up? Please tell me why we are picking this up. Are you gonna resurrect your or? Get, get away, get away. Don't touch me. Arrest my sweet prince. Yes, I'm calling these monstrosities a prince. So, now instead of dropping that... Ooh, there's not a sculptor idol over there. Wanna check this cave for more bugs. Why is there still breeding in my ear? Okay. Oil and oil. Great. That was exactly what I needed. More oil. Anybody wants to stand up right? No, they don't. They don't. Just hear the weird squishy noises. Just gonna backstab this guy while I can. Save us a bit of time. 
I kept the item. Bite down, secret shinobi drug blueing color when times call for death by one's own hand. Samurai turn their swords on themselves as a matter of pride, while shinobi demand the swifter means. Simply crush in the, bla in the back teeth to die. Nothing more is required. Resurrection is not limited after use. Okay, so we can use that to kill ourselves directly. Get, get away, buddy. Get away. Just just die. Just just die, please. There we go. Just die. Let's get his items. More pacifying agents in this. Crumbling offering tower. Here lie the vassals of the Ashina clan executed after the Great Rebellion. May their spirits rest. This is a graveyard as much as it is a creepy doctor's lair. And we're back near Purple Man. Purple Skeleton Man, but now we're at the other side of this place. And this... this... this is a trap, isn't it? Is, is this a trap? It doesn't seem broken. Don't... don't... Mibu Balloon of Soul? More resurrective power for a time. The oldest of the Mibu Balloons, Mibu Priests are known to pop them as an offering of peace to the departed. Okay, moving away. Moving away. I've seen what magic can do in this, uh, in this game. And I'm not ready to face this guy just yet. Could drop down. There's more items over there, but not going to just yet. Instead, I'm going to go towards that sculptor's idol I saw. Although, yeah, it was at the other side, right? Not in the cave, but to the other side of the cave. Just to take a little rest, because uh, I want to refill my gourds. My healing gourds. And there seems to be more down this way. So let's commune. And rest a bit. We have three skill points as well, so might as well take a look. Maybe there are skills to improve that Mikiri counter. So the Ascending Carp skill is definitely something I want. So uh, more damage inflicted to posture upon performing successful deflection. So Ascending Carp. And then we get Breath of Nature Light. Recovers posture upon executing a successful death blow. The Ashina style also has techniques des designed for fighting when greatly outnumbered. After killing an enemy, one must exhale expelling both regret and reaffirming one's core to regain posture and then flowing water reduces the amount of damage to posture when attacked by an enemy with a sword much like the flowing waters known by the ashina clan strength should not be met with more force but instead redirected like the flowing of water and ishimonji double so you can do it twice then an overhead sword strike adds a follow-up overhead sword strike to the ishimonji and then unknown combat art so Fair enough, nothing else we can do for now. So let's go further down. I think. So this is this is water. Okay. Is there something in the water? Somebody over there. Oh, it's the same guy again. <laughs> or not? Are those enemies? Hello, good sirs, I come in peace. I think those are enemies. Yeah, those are enemies. Come from the water bearing gifts. And in the back. Ooh, and I just dodged that bullet. And there we go. So, normal soldiers. I uh, didn't think I would find normal soldiers. More pacifying agents, black gunpowder, and a light coin purse. Don't mind if I do. Do not mind if I do. Is there something I can... Wait, need to get into the boat. And sugar. Sugar, he's gone in! But there doesn't seem to be anything else here. What are these guys doing here? There's a cage. It's pretty much my only indication that something is going on. But otherwise... Oh, we're getting... Oh no 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 no! Oh 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 no no! Oh, I'm getting shot at! Fire that! There we go. I don't know what's in the water, but something was onto me. Yeah, so it's still under water. Wow, that is something. Okay, whatever the big fish was doing there, I killed it. Although we're kind of still here, big fish. Is it trying to get to me? What's that noise? 
Okay, never mind. That's probably me swimming. So let's slowly move further. Because I have no idea where I'm ending up. What is this? Okay, there's another fish. <laughs> there's another fish and the sound is completely gone right now. Well, I mean the music. Operate mechanism. Uh, okay. Nothing bad ever happens by pulling a rope, did it? This is an elevator. On water energy. Okay. Can I get on the elevator? Oh, we, we can pull the rope over here as well. So now it lets water flow in the other direction and we can get up. But where does this lead? I am so confused. We're back in a building. And I can't break these bolts, even though I wanted to. We're back in a this looks like the building that the memorial mob was in. But maybe from another side? You. Yeah. You. Hello? Yeah? Where the hell are we? So this is another sculptor's island. It looks really pretty outside. Um, hi? Those of the Senpo Temple have strayed from Buddha's teachings. They have abandoned their faith, seduced by a search for immortality. Should you be captured, there is no telling what would become of you. You would do well to return the way you came. Ah, I thought you were gonna ask me for help. However, I will not stop you from entering if you are determined to do so. But if you do, please proceed with care. Um, why, why can't we talk to a piece of paper? Why, why is there a little child behind the piece of paper? I will not stop you, but if you okay, so often these characters just repeat their own dialogue, which is weird. Um, just one. I see you have decided to continue. Yeah. She stopped me. We will pray for your safety. It is the least we can do. We. Um, can we still? Yeah, I just want to activate the sculptor's idol. And then we're going to take a quick look at what this is. What is this? So this must be the Senpao Temple then. The one that the old woman was talking about and praying in this general direction. But I mean, with those... Yeah, Senpao Temple, Mount Congo. This does not look like anything close to what we saw before. This is cool. And there's a big tower in the distance. So I'm guessing that's our next place we can go to. So yeah, I'm going to take a little break. Because uh, this seems like a, a very nice point to end it at. We didn't kill that general dude with a spear. But we did kill a giant. And um, we discovered Senpao Temple at last. So where the, the monks are hiding. But they apparently are bad monks, so we'll see about that in the next episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye.